You ever wonder if I were here? It's one of life's great mysteries, isn't it? Whenever you're ready, 152. What happened in 150? You weren't here. I gave them a whole rundown. I gave them, I talked to them about the uh, crazy, the Facebook Messenger, like not hearing from people for like a decade and blowing oh, a quarter yeah. WrestleMania and you wanted to be decided via a ladder match. And then yeah. uh, Andrew had a weird ice pack. Like it was a whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> but that was 150. That was two episodes ago. <laughs> so if you're hearing this, Go back two episodes, you can hear that stuff. There was another episode that came out after what I just explained. And now we're on 152. And now, Jeff, take it away. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Face Podcast. You heard it from Eric already. This is episode 152. My, 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 where does the time go? It feels like it was just episode 16 yesterday. My name is Jeff Ramsey. With me, as always, Andrew Panton and our British contingent. Who are we speaking with today? I'm Gavin. Oh, just a Gavin today. Okay. Yeah. Not cheeky yet. All right. Let us know if Errol decides to show up or if, uh, <laughs> what was the other dude's name? Thomas the Bumbler or whatever. <laughs> Stuart the Bumbling Customer. Stuart, Stuart the Bumbling Customer. <laughs> Thomas the Bumbler. You know what? Next week. <laughs> That's a great character. <laughs> Thomas the Bumbler is so much better. For next week, I should, uh, maybe I'll cut a compilation of all the videos of me as Stuart the Bumbling Customer from oh. throughout the years. Oh my God, I would yes. love you to see You filmed videos of this? Oh my oh, God. Dude, I filmed, I I filmed realize- everything. <laughs> I'm so excited. Can you show it to Meg the way that you made her listen to the best of so that way it's just another thing she has to suffer through? <laughs> She'll leave me. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin, I have got to say, man, I've known you now for, I don't know, 20 years or something, 19 yeah. years. You are the gift that keeps on giving. I didn't know <laughs> Errol or Thomas the Bumbler existed last week. And now to find out that his entire history has been recorded. God damn, dude. I, I bet. I'm sure of it. I must have been wearing Rooster Teeth merch as Stuart. That's great. <laughs> so Stuart's an RT fan. That's cool. I, <laughs> yeah. I like him more already. That's fantastic. <laughs> I'm just, I'm thinking about the weird thing. Gavin and I in the same space. What a combination of weird. Like if somebody walked into a room that I was sleeping in with a fucking bag of icing on my head while there's somebody gagging in the bathroom, <laughs> brushing their teeth. That's like, such a great one too. I just complete weirdness. Yeah. What were everyone else's? Uh, Eric said Gavin's supposed to be the boring one. Not boring. Just not interesting. Well, you did argue boring at one point, but that's fine. We can move and on. Became- you have alter egos and you filmed videos of them. Yeah. Oh, you're right. And I think, was it a boring off or like a not? No, you it was right. a boring off. It was a you're definite right. boring off. Yeah. Bar- Eric was- hated the bit. Yeah, well, it's bad for content. But it's yeah, not let's in see content. Who's most bo- boring in the entertaining show? I'm boring outside of content. <sighs> <laughs> when I'm not Errol or Stuart. <laughs> Did, when you were a kid, like when you were a, a young lad, and if you wanted to like work up the courage to talk to a girl you were interested in, would you slip into Errol because he was a little bit cheekier and more confident, or would you, would you just go at his Gavin? I wouldn't go anywhere. I would. <laughs> ne- neither of them would go and talk to the girl. <laughs> so, so <laughs> Errol wasn't into talking to girls either. It wasn't no. just Gavin. <laughs> no. <laughs> they were both. <laughs> Massive babies. <laughs> <laughs> so what was everyone great. else's uh, weird but normal thing? I don't think they said. I think it's just you and I currently. I don't, they, Eric, they don't Eric have says one. says nothing. Eric says nothing. Entering the boring off. Eric said we're just normal. I don't think uh, Eric's normal. Yeah, no, no definitely in, not normal. We're just innocent men. Absolutely There's not. N- we don't have anything that's weird. No. Just normal men. You, you yeah. post pictures of those dogs all the time. Oh, yeah. You those things? You have Borzois? The Borzois. <laughs> Like yeah, that's you not, like it's great. But you actually like it. You don't think that's a cool looking dog? <laughs> yeah, it's cool to look at once and be like, that's a, a pretty interesting looking dog. But but you genuinely <laughs> <laughs> look at that thing. What the fuck? That's crazy. <laughs> it's like a dog with motion blur when it stood still. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like a physical anamorphs cover, but it's yeah. just one thing. <laughs> It Look looks it. like you tried to take a panorama picture of a regular dog. <laughs> <laughs> that dog's eyes are looking up as if to say, Eric, please stop making fun of me. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, oh I man. Oh, uh, I think Jeff's was maybe Wolverine. I think that counts. That wasn't mm-hmm. specific related to that, but <laughs> I think that qualifies. I think that's yeah. uh, he was right. vulnerable in that moment. Oh, I had an man. issue with the icing. It's too effective. I used it recently. I was, uh, I was trying to have a headache again. To- no, I just wasn't comfortable. I was feeling like ah, I'm a little hot. I'm just going to I need to go to sleep. I'm going to throw this icing on my head. And uh, it was so cool. I was like, this is one of the best ideas I've ever had. This is fantastic. And to reiterate, is it cool from just being out in the room? It's not like a refrigerated icing. No, no, no. It's just out in the room. It's always on my bedside table in the room. I like to keep my room really cold so it gets really cold. And I'll put it on my head and it just feels so refreshing and just nice. I wonder and, if uh, I put the icing on my head, I would gag. <laughs> we i've i mean we should try that at some point but um <laughs> get the hair off it first <laughs> that was uh i posted a photo on our slack of it that was a beard hair I, I had like a tooth issue and i was trying to like just numb the hair. anyway um <laughs> i put on my head wait what hang on my, hang on my Tom? mouth was sore so it's like you know i don't have ice so i'll just use the uh I'll, I'll use the icing i'll just lower it a little bit instead of being on my forehead i'll put on my jaw you what how's the tooth doing it's fine. We're okay. Um, but the issue with the icing is it's too good. It's too effective at being cooling and relaxing because I put it on and I was like, I'm just going to put this on for a little bit, get cozy. Then I'll take it off. Then I'll be able to instantly fall asleep. And uh, I put it on. I was like, this is great. And then I woke up and it was morning and like eight hours had passed. And uh, I was very groggy and being like, oh, fuck, I don't think I don't remember what happened. I put the icing on. And then that's all I remember. I don't think I took it. I put it away and I felt my end table and there's nothing there. I was like, oh, no. So I had to spend the first like minute and a half of waking up looking for my bag of icing (laughs) in the bed. (laughs) Terrified that somehow it had opened. But I'm like going through the sheets. I'm just like, this is such a stupid problem. I got to fuck my icing. (laughs) Do you think if you had had rolled over on it, it would have... I, it seems pretty durable. It seems like a pretty big bag, but I just, I was so confused. I, it, it immediately knocked me out as soon as I put on my head. I was you so comfortable. You know how some people have water beds? Yeah. <laughs> I've not never any, been on one. Not bed. anymore. Well, there's probably some people out there with them. <laughs> I guess. But maybe, maybe the icing bed, the icing mattress would be the future. Oh, that would be really, hmm, because it would... It'd be, it'd solidify, you'd get some heat. I think the problem would be you'd probably sink into it, right? Because your body would heat up the icing and it would become <laughs> looser and you'd, you'd just to, slowly like you'd melt slow, down in the night. You'd slowly melt into the bed. <laughs> you'd just become like a knife through butter as you sleep. <laughs> exactly. The first thing I thought of was that he was sleeping on a big cake and then the whole thing is icing. So I guess it's not, but I think what you're describing, like eventually, like we are a short walk to sleeping on cake. That is where yeah. I think we're going with this right now. Can we can we fill an, an inflatable mattress with icing for Andrew? <laughs> we can. Ooh. Yes. That would be tough. How would you you need to like syringe? What would you do? How would you fill it? Oh, just so get thick. like a pump. Yeah, yeah. Just, it. that would be it. It would just, okay. just get just, or just get the icing thing that they do to put on cakes. <laughs> just a <That's>, massive one. <laughs> yeah, I just have to refill it all the time. <laughs> I think you would sleep so well. I don't know if I would, but I don't, think, it's, I don't uh, think you would at all. I think I have the optimal icing experience as is. I'd worry about sinking through the bed with the full Well, the icing. plastic, you wouldn't melt through the, the plastic. I, I sleep would, pretty hot. And, you know, as a blanket guy, I got a lot of blankets on there. I feel like it generates and maintains heat. I think I would I would go through it. I think. Yeah, but from from our previous conversations, it sounds like only from the knees down. Do you actually interact with the mattress? The rest of you is up eight pillows. (laughs) No, no. So it's sort of like what I'm saying. Uh, There's a decline for sure. Like I start at the top of Pillow Mountain and I slowly go like I I float down into it or I, I plummet into the bed. Maybe a mattress is out then and we just give you a nice big uh, icing pillow. Oh, Ooh. that would be good. But once again, yeah. I feel like I have the optimal experience because it gets hot. I have to take it off after like 10 or 15 minutes. So it's, it's you got to rotate. You The icing well, is got, too hey. hot? Well, it go, becomes like room temperature. Like it's no longer cool. <laughs> I no longer feel the effect. So I'll put it on like maybe 10 minutes one side and then I'll flip it over. Yeah. And then, and then you switch to one of the other seven pillows. Hmm. Mm, yeah, I guess. But then it just seems like that's too much icing. A giant pillow's worth of icing. That seems like a lot. 
Or this is a nice little bag I could just put on my, my bedside table. Hmm. It's not right. inconvenient in any way. That was just a whole having to try to find the icing, falling asleep with it. It was a dangerous game. It felt like a potential. Do I also, unrelated, do I sound okay? No. I had a whole issue with my setup recently. What? What, what happened? You sound, my mic, you sound fine. My mic, I was worried I broke ever. everything and I was scared to tell Nick. Um, I climbed into bed and a blanket ended up underneath one of the legs of my chairs and i filled up my gerpler all the way and i was like i'm gonna wake up gonna drink some water begin my day and the blanket cover was stuck or the blanket was stuck under the wheel i pulled the wheel the chair fell backwards it knocked over my gerpler the least like you never want to spill a full gerpler there's so much water it was like a wave hit my desk and it all fell over whatever my equipment is whatever what is this thing called the Capua? scarlet the no scarlet. the scarlet yeah Went all over the scarlet. So I was terrified I broke that. I assume that's an expensive piece of tech. Uh-huh. I have no idea. But we're good? We sound good? Yeah. <laughs> you sound great. Yeah, great. Nick in the okay. background. I'm losing his fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> what flavor is the icing? Uh, just plain vanilla, I assume. Mm. I could probably... You know what? I could... I don't know if I still have the box for it, but it came from a gingerbread house, so theoretically, people could get an identical bag. <laughs> you could experience this. Is that important to people? No, I'm just saying if they want to test it out, like they could get the exact same bag of icing that I use. Well, obviously not the exact same, but would, same, I, would uh, you size, consider weight? mailing it to Austin f- to take a place in the face museum? Uh, Ooh. I could, but that's a big ask because I, it's it's a really big part of my rotation. I was just about to say <laughs> when he didn't immediately go, "Oh, that's a good idea." I went, oh, "I don't know if this one's happening." <laughs> It is a great uh, idea. Even though he just told everyone how to get one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, right, but he could, already has one. But I'd have to buy a new gingerbread house. What yeah. if, okay, okay, what if you just give us a picture of the box and then we can go buy uh our own gingerbread house and then we can put a like a facsimile of the the icing in the museum. Like this is what it looks like. I, I'm okay with that. I'm I'm even potentially okay with mailing it away. I just need to make sure I can find the box and I know which one it is because it's kind of it's kind of like when you go to a a museum. Not all of the paintings are the real paintings. Like some of the more yeah, like, <laughs> the, the, some of the pricier, <laughs> rarer paintings are just really good dupes that assholes get to look at. But the real paintings, you know, in cold storage somewhere, being kept safe. Would you guys be open to trying this? Like we what did the you, waffle what thing. What do you mean by trying? <laughs> I don't know how to duplicate necessarily. I'm, you know what? I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to try putting it in my fridge and see how that compares to the standard experience I have. In the same way that I bought everybody tiny waffle makers, we all made desk waffles. And I feel like the reception generally was pretty good to that idea. Absolutely. Yeah. I think a better experience than you would have anticipated. So maybe, I know this seems insane, but maybe, maybe this is in the same boat of, you know what? It's ridiculous, but it's a pretty good idea. Works pretty well. Life hack. Mm-hmm. Life can we hack. can we announce that we have made and we saw the first iteration of the waffle maker? Oh, I'd I love to. So I think that's I think gonna. There's some that. that are gonna be at RTX, right? I saying? believe. So. I think you'll be able to buy them at RTX, and then we'll also have them available online. We made a mini waffle maker that I'm says. So excited. It says face on it it has the logo <laughs> stamped in the middle of the waffle it's real did we find a way to sell it for less than like 80 bucks yes yeah i believe we did oh nice yeah it yeah. looks so good oh that's so amazing i, I mean I can't look look at this it's beautiful that's crazy yeah that's imagine crazy. the syrup flowing around the logo <laughs> i'm thinking the like a same moat. thing like, can you imagine, like, the little stars are full of butter and syrup? That'd be the mm. best oh, part. Oh. Wow. What letter do you think is going to taste the best? Uh, the C. Oh. The C? Mm. You think the C? I think the ratios are good. The A has a lot of space. I, I see what you mean, though, with the ratios. I think the K looks especially delicious as well. Mm. I was kind of leaning towards K as well. Yeah. I think... If you can eat both stars together, that will be the best part. But if it is only a single <laughs> star, it will not hold up. <laughs> Interesting. So, so All right. both stars should be consumed together, is what. That's you're saying. what I. That's how I feel personally. But you know, you guys eat your waffles the way that you want. When I get my Listen, one of these, I'm just gonna cut out, cut off everything except the logo, and then cut each thing into individual letters and just do taste tests. I think. I think this is the way to go. 
I think, yeah. Do you have a certain way you eat your waffles or pancakes? My mouth. Okay. <laughs> your mouth? That's a good technique. I'm glad that it's being used for other things in the Dan's dick. It's a great yeah. I, I like hearing about this. Second rotation. <laughs> I had Sorry, that was that. Terry or where, whatever. Where whatever. Bit? That was a little bit where sassy. Where this bit come from? 10%. 150 episodes, and now we're just getting them. Just going oh. after them. Oh, boy. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I just I had a real... Yeah, that was Terry or whatever. I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> Errol. That was Errol 2.0. You, you're not Errol. You need your own I'm Carol. I'm Carol. I'm completely different, <laughs> that very was, unique. That was Carol. That was a very Roman, up. Raymond Somer type comment. <laughs> uh, Roman. For, for, oh, for, Roman. <laughs> for the record, Gavin, I left that joke in 151. That is Andrew who brought it to 151. I'll never, <laughs> and that'll be it. I'll never use it again. I just had to. I was, uh, I was so disappointed with your response. I, just I probably out. will. I'll probably use it. I, I didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, you know what, though? Just fucking what? put it in your mouth, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, what, what is what is the answer to that question? What the 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 cutting the the structure the, the How methodology? Do you waffles? I like to cut corner by corner. I like to leave the space in the middle last. Oh. I always do that whenever meaning anything with what like pancakes specifically. And it became weird. Remember when I had the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, waffle maker? Well, yeah, that was one of my rotational ones. It would just be the turtle nose. So I just end up with like a little turtle nose of uh, a pancake, <laughs> which wasn't the most appetizing, but I just have a certain structure. I don't I think, think I have an approach to eating a waffle. I think I just eat it. Yeah, I think I eat it. I think the middle part always tastes the best. So I save that for last. So I go like top, left, right, and then I naturally kind of leave the middle area. For is the, that how you do a McDonald's part. cheeseburger? I feel like the middle of that is always pretty good. Really? You think the middle of the cheeseburger is the best part? Interesting. No, I've never tried just eating the edges of, of the burger. <laughs> just taking a bite and then rotating a little bit. That's interesting. Yeah. I did try. I thought in my head. The greatest fast food burger would be a quarter pounder patty with a Whopper bun. That was a thought I had recently, so I did that. Would not recommend. Wasn't good. Oh, what wasn't good about it? Uh, what was weird is the patty had more to do with the taste of the bun than I anticipated. Wait, you did this? I did this, yeah. I did this weeks ago. It was what? like three weeks ago. I did. I just, I had the thought. I was like, what would be the best fast food burger? And I liked the chewiness of the Burger King bun. But I really like like the patty and everything of the quarter pounder. I think it's good. I like that he does this and it doesn't even register as a <laughs> face bit. Like yeah. wait, he you did this weeks ago and you yeah. never yeah. talked about how you bought two burgers from separate places, <laughs> made them one super burger, and never brought it up. We ever. had a whole bit about mixing different condiments together <laughs> and it almost ended the show. Now you're mixing different fast foods together? Maybe that's why. Maybe that's I've why never... I didn't bring it up. This is what? Because there's the a fuck? Burger King and a McDonald's next to each other for where I live. And I thought, huh, I could they'd still be fresh and I could put the Whopper on the quarter pounder uh, <laughs> bun and all that and put the, the, the quarter pounder on the Whopper. And so I tried both. And it was very weird because the bun taste kind of like it translated with the patty. Like when I was eating the quarter pounder, <laughs> it tasted more like a quarter pounder than it did a Whopper. And then when I ate the wop, like the, the chewiness of the bun, it was very You're weird. out there just like freaky Friday in your lunch. Yeah, I was. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I was I was considering like what would be a great addition is Wendy's has the best bacon, but the Wendy's isn't close to the Burger King or the McDonald's. So I couldn't just get a Baconator to then pluck the bacon. And then you need to have equal sandwiches because you don't want to waste any food. So it was a whole thing. But I've been I've been in the lab. I've been figuring out. I didn't report on it because it wasn't lab. great. Yeah, hey, Jeff, get a load of this fucking scientist. <laughs> <laughs> I thought <laughs> we so... have to make a face lab coat for Andrew. <laughs> I've been in the lab. I've been trying things. What else are you, you know? doing in the lab? <laughs> well, it's became it became really. I was d genuinely disappointed by how not great either burger was with that flip. So it gave me. I, I lost some burger confidence in quite a literal way. <laughs> And I've been back to the drawing board of a thing. I, I had an A&W burger recently. It had surprisingly good bacon. It might have sneaky good fast food bacon. So there's a, a Wendy's next to an A&W where I live. So maybe I'll try to mash that up in some way. What? I don't know. <laughs> Andrew, what? Andrew, here's what I'm going to say something here. I think I think you are a visionary. 
And I think that what you're what, what you've been working on the, in the lab could be groundbreaking. <laughs> and I recognize that this is not Eric's other you, fucking fast food show, so we probably don't want to go too heavy into it. But like for instance, the first thing that pops into mind is Emily's family has this Christmas Eve tradition where for Christmas Eve they set out all their fine china like the nicest plates and knives and shit they have. And mm-hmm. and by the way, Emily does this at our house too. This is now our family tradition. And then on Christmas Eve at about 6 p.m., you drive around to any restaurant you want to go to, any fast food restaurant you want to go to, and get as much as you want. So like I get a I get like uh I, I get a uh a, ro- a a big beef and cheddar from Arby's, right? But then I get the fries from McDonald's. And then I get like chicken mm. nuggets from what or, mm-hmm. or like a burger from Whataburger, whatever. And you end up going to like nine fast food restaurants and you just get a little bit of everything. And then you go home and you put it all on your plate and you eat it like it's a fancy meal. And I've always thought that that was kind of brilliant. And I really enjoyed the whole process of it. But you've taken it to such another level by mixing and matching within the burger itself. Like, I'll be honest, my brain's kind of exploding with possibility right now. I'm thinking about like, what can I, what can I mash up between Taco Bell and Whataburger? Yeah, like, I mean, it's an interesting. I'm gonna, thought, th- I'm sure. gonna think differently every time I go to a fast food restaurant for the rest of my life because of this. You're gonna think outside the bun. <laughs> I'm gonna think outside the bun. It's tough too because like chicken burgers, like their bun is a different type of texture typically than a beef. I don't think I want the chicken burger experience from a bun perspective on a beef patty. I don't think that would be good. I could be wrong. Haven't done the science. Haven't tested in the lab yet. Uh, could be wrong, but I think what's that's the name how of, I'm leaning. What's the name of your scientist character? I don't have. It's just. It's just me. Unfortunately, right. it's. I sadly just have to live with. This is just me. <laughs> Gavin, Down is this lab. something? Is this something you'd ever do? No, <laughs> I wouldn't even think to do it. <laughs> it's phenomenal. I'm just, you know, I'm working things out. And also, I figured we're going more into, we're doing drafts occasionally. I'm going to have such a better scouting report than all of you if we do, like, a draft. And the same way we did malls, if we did, like, a fast food item draft and who would have the best restaurant, I would feel very confident. Did we talk about how we recorded those? The, the I don't two- think we have. <laughs> I was shocked at how well the mall draft went. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> I, think I was shocked draft. at how different they were like they are entirely different vibes the rock draft was aggressive and angry and a lot of yelling and screaming whereas the mall draft was like weirdly warm and nostalgic and you know and yeah it it was insane because we recorded them back to back and what a wild ride it was to be a part of uh those two recordings but I, i i don't know when they're coming out but i thought they were both fucking great and they got me so excited about doing more drafts our youtube channel is pretty is Pretty action packed with supplemental stuff now. We've got like regulation animation. We got all the does it do's are out, and we've got Condor Man to come out still. We've got the drafts. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's full of stuff that isn't this podcast, which I think is great. Yeah, me too. And we've got uh, probably not ready to dive into it now, but Eric and I have been thinking about this idea for like a a baseball type thing we want to do. Um, that could that could potentially be more supplemental content. This is with a lot of a lot of irons in the fire. We got a six foot hole to dig in the backyard. We got a Jason Bourne, some buses. There's a, we got a lot of stuff on the horizon as well. <laughs> we gotta I do think, the tuxedo thing too. Yeah, like there's so much for this show that it just is like half an idea that becomes something. Where I go, man, that was fun. Like <laughs> it just ends up being so much fun. Uh, and I'm glad we just do it. I'm really glad we just do it. It's always yeah. a good time. We're like Nike. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Does it do it? Just do it. Yeah, no, I got uh, it. It was very, very clever of me. Uh, speaking of just doing it uh, and making fun stuff, uh, Andrew, give me a number between one and 30. Five. Five. Uh, Gavin, uh, give me a number between one and 30. That's not 16. Five. 16. Eric? Lucky 13. 13, Nick. Damn, you took mine. 21. 21. Okay, and I'm going to pick... Nah, uh, I'm going to pick... 27. Okay. So uh, those are the... uh, When I prepare the new bingo cards, because tonight we are recording... I mean, it'll be way in the past by the time you're listening to this, but tonight we're recording our first test of Sloppy Joe's. 
uh, bingo. We're going to do that. And so those are the numbers of the bingo cards I'm going to print out for you guys. I have the 30. I, I make 30 at a time, so those are, the, those are the ones you guys will get for the event tonight. I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. 37 for me. It's 27. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even go that high. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. It is so important to make sure you have time to cater to your feelings and your needs. There are times in life where maybe there's a situation or you're trying to support somebody that takes a lot out of you, but it, it's just so important to make sure that you're also taking care of yourself because it's so easy to get caught up in what everyone else needs from you and never take a moment to think about what you need from yourself. But when we spend all of our time giving, it can leave us feeling stretched thin and burned out. Therapy can give you the tools to find more balance in your life so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. Therapy is an incredible thing. I would highly recommend it to anyone. Um, I think it's just a really important and healthy process to go through. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's completely online and designed to be convenient, flexible, and catered to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can change therapists anytime for no additional charge. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash face today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash face. Using the internet without ExpressVPN is like leaving your laptop exposed at the coffee shop table while you run to the bathroom. Most of the time you're probably fine, but what if one day you come out of the bathroom and your laptop is gone? That would suck. I also think it's interesting that any table in a coffee shop is a coffee shop table, but when they say coffee shop table, I picture something very specific. Um... Anyway, every time you connect to an unencrypted network, cafes, hotels, airports, any hacker on the same network can gain access to your personal data, passwords, financial details, etc. All the terrible things you don't want stolen. And it doesn't take much technical knowledge to know how to hack someone. Just some cheap hardware is needed. A smart 12 year old could do it. I certainly didn't fall under that category as a 12 year old or even now. Um, your data is valuable. Hackers can make up to a thousand dollars per person selling personal info on the dark web. Why use ExpressVPN? It has an encrypted tunnel. It creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet. Hackers can't steal your sensitive data. It's super secure. It'd take a hacker with a supercomputer over a billion years to get past ExpressVPN's encryption. It's easy to use. All you have to do is fire up the app and click one button to get protected. And it works on all of your devices, phones, laptops, tablets, and more, so you can stay secure on the go. ExpressVPN is a great service for protection. I've used it to view other content libraries in different countries. Um, I watched The Spelling Beyond it last year. There's all sorts of great reasons to use ExpressVPN. So if you want to secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com face, that's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash face. And you can get an extra three months free at expressvpn dot com slash face. Today's episode is sponsored by Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Now, it's always great when you have a deal, but it's even better when you didn't even expect it. Thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Now, imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the Honey button appears and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop. I've used Honey to save on all sorts of things from clothing to tech. It's so easy to use. I would highly recommend it. And did you know that Honey doesn't just work on desktops? It works on your iPhone, too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. Get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com face. That's joinhoney.com face. Not to, I mean, we kind of venture past it, but to return for a minute, we did both drafts. One of them was very argumentative, and one of them I think was very supportive and sweet. And I think it was argumentative, uh, rightfully so, because there's some insane picks taken, in my opinion, in the first draft. Eric, could we potentially tweet what people think 
should be the first overall pick and the rock not rock draft and see if any of them line up i with... mean do you want me to give what the first picks were in the choice or what do you want me to list? no i i just like maybe just have people reply also okay last week when we did this i made a yeah. joke of that i wanted a recount <laughs> on the weirdness thing because yeah. i i should have a higher percentage of the vote we stopped recording and the first thing i did was uh, everyone left and I opened Twitter and that was the top of my feed was that poll and I was just, you son of a bitch god damn it you, you actually won. did it you I won. did and I had a higher percent of the vote it was exactly 3.6 percent says Andrew is yeah. the weird one which you know I, I think these, <laughs> this episode especially it's probably 78 uh if we did another count but I just like to see I don't think any person will take as the first overall pick of the not rock draft we, we might have to bleep that if the rock draft isn't out by then yeah we should then. bleep look Please i bleep clearly that. i had to pick it first because clearly somebody else also wanted to pick it first <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't go further but i just i i'd love to see a twitter thing and wanted to call out the fact that i love that you did that i was annoyed but also appreciated <laughs> what do you, so I'm gonna put this tweet out right now. Is it what should be the first pick in the rock what not it, rock draft? Yeah, I think it'd be yeah, like what's your, what, first what's pick your prediction rock, 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 yeah. on or what would you pick? What okay. would be your first overall pick in a rock not rock draft? Got it. Yeah, in a rock not rock draft. Rocks not rocks. Uh, rocks not rocks. <laughs> I think this. I I think we were coming at it from different angles because like you were trying to pick the legitimate best rock not rock in the world, and I was going only for comedy and to pick stuff nobody else picked. But it was on everyone's board. I just I, I was I so care. fucking surprised that my pick that that pick was on other boards. I really didn't think anybody else would pick it. <laughs> I wasn't even sure that uh, everybody knew what it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an old ass thing from my childhood that I, I assume is still around, but I don't think they're super popular in 2023. I would love to see people trying to guess what you're talking about now because we bleeped me saying what it is what just like all the context clues of if people will be able to accurately guess the item that you're talking about anyway those are going to be great i'm excited for people to listen to them and i'm excited for sloppy joe's tonight i'm going to be honest i haven't watched a single second of a sloppy joe's live stream i've been waiting so this is going to be my first experience let me preface this by saying it we're doing it eight o'clock central uh so that'll be six o'clock your time it's nine o'clock sloppy joe's time slop o'clock is eleven <laughs> fifteen. so why are we doing it early uh i think because people have to have lives and shit and probably want to go to bed and stuff but i'm just i'm just saying some of the wilder behavior may happen more towards the end like the chance of us seeing somebody throw up are better at 11 p.m than they are at 9 p.m but it should still be fun it should still be a good time okay I just uh, if it's not as rambunctious as 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 we've made it sound, it may just be because it's nine p.m. on a Thursday night, and I just I don't know. Uh, I don't, I just I can't guarantee how drunk those idiots will be. First reply <laughs> by Daniel Rolls on the Rock Not Rock draft <laughs> from the seaside. Don't know if they have that outside the UK. I looked it up, <laughs> and it is it's what Gavin drafted. And that was my be, first pick, and it would be. I've no it's a terrible pick. That person, <laughs> no, it's you, cool because they, they put you, letters through it. Can you mute that person from the account, Eric? Because they have zero good takes. You don't need to see whatever they're saying. And I say that respectfully to whoever that is. It's the first are you fucking serious? The first comment yep. was that? I opened, I tweeted it, I gave it a second, I went back, look, no, A number one. Saw it right there. And it's I it. don't. I don't. I'm. I gotta. I'm open to. I don't believe that you did not plant this at some. I. This I don't is, know who this. I don't know who Daniel Rolls is. I don't talk to these fucking people. Well, I just. I the tweet itself. I'm saying. I feel like there's got to. Let me. What, I got blown away by that, and two out of the five of us also did it. <laughs> well, yeah, but because I expect that from you guys. I have a lower bar here Clearly than I do everywhere else. you didn't expect it from us based on your reaction to... No, you hit picks. a new low. You're right. That's actually a fair statement. You <laughs> did hit the bar went lower. I assumed it was on the ground. That is a terrible pick. 13 replies. Uh, okay, you know what? I, I Respectfully to Jess, whatever, uh, they said the phrase, that rocks. That's a worse pick. That's a, that's an even... I thought you had a bad one. Maybe I was too critical on your pick. Drafting that rocks is horrendous as a first overall. <laughs>
I have anyway, never I don't seen wanna... somebody so opinionated about rocks in my life. His opinions are so strong. Yeah. I mean, Jeff, they're not rocks. He's That's like the they're not rocks. Really. He's like Hank on Breaking Bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, this is well, really it's, something. It's fun to have really strong opinions on things that shouldn't have opinions. I'm almost certainly wrong. There's no data. I can't <laughs> prove that I'm right. It's just opinion. I just think from my perspective, from my life experience, that's a terrible pick. That's we're totally um we're half an hour in and I'm still staring at the shit. Yeah. Okay. We need to <laughs> huff some oh, ice. That's huff some ice. Oh God. So are you gonna go with the the that apple looks a little rough. Okay. Okay. That Let looks... me say something. That is way older than the Apple Milli 8, I guarantee you. <laughs> oh, Milli's shit. Apple hadn't started to eat itself yet like that. Yeah, this is shriveled. I don't know how long, <laughs> I don't know how long it's been shriveled. Okay, so will the Apple, doing? you think, make you gag if you cut it open? Or are we going to get a double gag? Fuck off. God damn it, Nick. <laughs> it's every, every comment. Oh, God. I, I might be in a minority here. So I think you start with the ice, and then you do the Apple second. Yeah, I think it's okay. Order. So I'm gonna take the lid off this Gerpler. All right, let's okay. add video, video, please, video it. Oh, can you? Can you give me a second? Like, don't, don't do it yet. Just get your. Can, can you live stream your video, or is that not possible? I don't have a webcam. Oh, then, oh, that's okay. Then <laughs> never mind. Uh, no, it's mm. okay. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Yep. Uh -huh. I don't, don't worry about a it. Bit down. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna huff this ice. Yep. <laughs> I want to see it? if it makes you gag. Okay, here we go. You ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Even if you don't gag, that's so pain. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> breathing I, through the gurpler? I hear laughing in it. Now I'm just laughing into a cup of ice. <laughs> <laughs> no, no gag. Yeah. Wow, okay. So maybe it's more to do with like your body <laughs> than yeah. it is, you know, huffing oh. cold. It, actually, the, the air wasn't that cold. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're going to cut into the apple? What's the plan with the apple? I think you should just take a bite. Am yeah, I just biting like, in? Yeah, oh, if you bite. bite in, it's you're going to vomit so in I that. mean, if you want to film yourself on your phone, that's cool. You don't have to. But oh, I'm doing you, that already. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, dear, oh dear, this is. This doesn't feel like a, something I want to bite. All right, you, no, you it doesn't look like something you'd want yep. to bite. Go ahead. Here we go. Down the hatch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh dear. Now you rated the apple kind of low to begin with. I think oh, it gave it a five. Uh, it's like sour grit. Oh. Sour grit. Oh god. You're handling this gonna... better than I intended. Try. Try the other side. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> going for the other side. Hold on. Let me swallow this. Should I swallow this? No. No, no, no. no, no, no don't swallow it. <laughs> spit it out. Just spit it into the ice. Okay. Bite in the other side. Oh, it's soft. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, it sounds worse. That was like just grit. Like all the flavor is in the other side. That that was just empty app. That's like if someone was designing an apple and they just wanted like the matter, mm -hmm. the apple shell. That's just that. Well, that is. It's just empty flavored apple. Now, do you think like the flavor died on that side, or did the party move all to the other side of the? I apple? think the party sort of seeped into the other side. I see. Interesting. Okay, so it's an even more flavorful bite than it originally was. Is what you're saying? <laughs> that logic. Oh, I'm gonna. I can't stare at this. I'm gonna throw it away. Yeah, yeah. Please, no, do. that's fair. You did the research. You did. The and for a guy who gags all the time, uh, congratulations on not throwing up. Yeah, I, go, I violently vomited when I tried mine. Yeah, so really. You... Yours was worse, I would say. C um, no, I mean, a, a bad apple's a bad apple. Kud I'm just saying, kudos to Gavin for holding it. To keep oh, it absolutely, together. definite kudos. You also like the apple more. And the fact that he started from a position of not being the biggest fan of it. Yeah. Mine mine point. wasn't melted as much as Jeff's though. That seems no. to have uh, Yeah, it's yours seems to be maintaining an apple consistency and shape, whereas mine was soup. Yeah, I that was honestly that. I wish I'd waited another six months on that because that was I think that still had some time, but it just wasn't well, good. I feel like 
<laughs> if you were to wager, if somebody said, what will make this guy gag? Biting into a 14-month-old apple or walking outside when it's hot to cold. <laughs> I don't think many people are taking the hot to cold. It's yeah. shocking to me that you have just walked through this 14, 15-month-old apple, I'm assuming. It doesn't look good. It, it does not look good. Are you okay, Gavin? Are you recovering? I had to get a palate cleanser. That's fair. It's really weird to be on the other side of this. I, I almost in every other point of doing something like this, I am in the Gavin role. This might be a first where we're just observing Gavin. Eric asked a great question. What did you get? Yeah, what's the cleanser? Uh, just a handful of granola. <laughs> <laughs> what's funny about that? Just a hand, grab, grab it a handful of granola. You live a fun life. What a weird, <laughs> what a weird just, handful. I just looked in the in the little pantry and grabbed a handful of something. What's and wrong with that? that? No, it's, it's fine, I guess. I've never heard of anyone say I've just got a handful of granola. Yeah, wash um, this apple down with some granola. Well, it's <laughs> usually wash down the year old apple. I just didn't know what That's to do. That's true. Do you think uh, that would be the ideal pairing? How did the granola go with the apple? Yeah, it made the granola taste pretty good. Really? Oh, so it's like a flavor enhancer. Interesting. Well, good for you, Gavin. I'm surprised you didn't <laughs> gag. I would have bet anything that at least one of those things would have made you gag. Yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed I didn't. I feel like I've gagged many times in this podcast, and I assume that would be one. That was I mean, kind of a letdown for me. I mean, you can brush your teeth on the podcast, and we'll definitely get it then. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Next time, I'll get a mic cable long enough to get into the bathroom if we ever need to do another morning with <laughs> face so waking up with face like we did before that would be a great everybody brushes their teeth that would be so horrible to listen to never mind scrapping that idea could everybody you, brushing their teeth into the mic oh could could you imagine if we had and i'm not advocating that we do this at all uh i'm just i'm just it's just fun to play with the idea could you imagine if we had our own version of like good morning america that was like good morning face and we like, it's like wake up with face and we tell you about like the soft news of the morning and then we try a little recipe with Shaq or whatever. And then I don't know, or like Gordon Ramsay comes on to show off some fritters and teaches you how to make them. And then it, but it's just like, it's like us, but good morning, America. I, what do you mean? Your idea is to take a very rigid <laughs> segmented program and just have at it. Yeah. Like what would our version of it? Yeah. Be? <laughs> like we'd be making a plowman's pizza with Hoda and fucking uh, Kathy Lee or whatever. I I, I don't know. I just think I it would feel be like funny. It would, you think I wonder, so? I, I wonder what our dynamic would be like. I remember what it was like that one morning. We but if we had, uh, I'm not saying we should do it. I don't want to do it. I'm just saying it's just like theater of the mind. I uh, feel like it's what we're doing, but less funny in my head. Like it would be, it wouldn't be as good. I don't know what the like rigidity of the the bits or whatever the, the segments well they don't have to be rigid i'm just thinking of like us in the morning trying to entertain people as they start their day like but we'd be grumpy probably somebody be in a bad mood i don't know it just seems like it could be a thing i'm not saying it should be a thing i'm just in, i'm just envisioning in my, you know what snicked snicked you guys both got <laughs> fucked you're, you're dead <laughs> I think he just popped the claws out. Oh, no. He popped I did a lot more to pop the claws. I popped your heads <laughs> off. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Well, we're going to get the reverse of that tonight because this is the latest we've recorded. Oh, no. We recorded at 9 p.m. once, didn't we? Yeah. For the, yeah. I like that we did that for that, but we're not doing this for sloppy chess. We can push it back. <clears throat> we can push it back farther. Now that we're doing it remote, we can definitely push it back further. I don't mind that. I just didn't want like, I didn't want to do something super late on like a Thursday. And I yeah. knew that other people had stuff very early on Friday. So it's, you know, it's up to you guys. I don't mind changing the time some. To what time? <laughs> we can figure that out after. We don't need to do that now. <laughs> I don't think you, there should be like a legal protection against you after biting a year old apple and huffing ice that you shouldn't be allowed to make any commitments for like at least 15 minutes. I can't believe I survived my own double gag gauntlet. You sure did with flying colors. It was pretty impressive. It was Eric, very did impressive. You, did you buy all the crisps yet? He doesn't have the list, but it's so funny oh, you right. mentioned that. Just, just about to say the exact same thing, but... Uh, we need to all submit his stuff. I'm so, yeah. I pulled up, I have links, Eric, so you could buy, I have my chip selection. I assume we're all doing three or four? Yeah, that would right? be it, yeah. 
Yeah, okay. Well, I have my links. I'm ready to... I was going to send them to you yesterday, but I thought, oh, I don't want to just randomly send this without, you know, I don't know when this will happen. I'd love to do that. So if yeah. you guys could come up with your chips, that'd be great. And we could do it. Yeah, love it. I could do that. Love it. Uh, Spell, speaking of chips, uh, this is actually something I had, I'd put in my notes. Um, I discovered something that I like very, very much, but I can only eat like three of before I've hit my limit. And it got me wondering... Uh, what is the thing that you like to eat the most that you can eat the least? Like in this instance, for me, it's dill pickle potato chips. Like they're fucking, the first mm. one's amazing. The second one's even better. The third one's great. And by the fourth one, I'm like, put it back. I don't need it. I can't, I can't handle it. Like I just hit like a limit immediately. And what way can you handle it? Like you're just done with them? Yeah. Like it's just like too much flavor. It's just like too much. It like turns in me after like a few and it's like, oh, I got to put it back. I've had a bag I've been trying to work through for like a month because I just I can't <laughs> eat more than, than three or four at a time. And it just goes from like amazing to to, to like hard stop. Like my body's just like, I've, you've had four. That's too many. I mean, stop. that's pancakes for me. Okay. Really? Yeah. After like five bites of pancakes, I'm sick of them. That's crazy to me because the pancakes for me is the food I could almost endlessly eat. Like my, my ceiling is way higher on pancakes. Than... Could you eat to the ceiling? Uh, <gasps> what size pancakes? We talking? No, I'm gonna say no. I'm done with food stuff. I've got. I, I, I had a moment where I was like, you know what? I think it could probably do that. And then the flashes of all the food trauma of this show of trying to do it. No. Ceiling. How tall are your ceilings? <laughs> How tall are you? Like six feet? Who are you talking to? Me? Yeah. I'm like five foot ten. If we built you out of pancakes, how much would you eat from the head down? Would could you eat to the just, shoulders? Just it, just in height. How, what's the average? Are we talking flapjacks? What side? There's a wide range of pancakes. Flapjacks? Or sand dollar uh, pancakes? Those are tiny ones. Like I'm saying, there's a variance smaller, in pancakes. Smaller pancakes. A not smaller tiny, pancake. but, but not like giant flapjacks. I could, you know what? Let's say this. If I fell into a pit of pancake sand, I could probably eat my way out from the waist down. <laughs> Anything past that would be a problem. I would you can to eat the to the waist? Yeah, so like if I'm in quick, I'm imagining this, like my waist, the waist, I'd say the waist is the area. You know, like in uh, in like a movie, an old movie, you don't really see quicksand anymore. They got rid of quicksand. <laughs> What's the last time you yeah. saw quicksand? Gavin set up such an easy scenario. It is the same height as you. And you went, if I was in pancake <laughs> quicksand, what are you talking about? So you say you're eating your legs. No, I'm not eating my leg. I'm saying oh. that if I stepped in, if there was a, like a, a a pancake was a natural thing you found in the wild, yeah. and I stepped into the quicksand equivalent where I'm just slowly <laughs> f sinking into the cake. If I got cakes all around me and they're slowly rising, I, if I started eating when it was at waist level, I would be okay. Because I have really short legs, as we've established. I'm almost all back. So I'm 90 yes, you're, back. You're, you're eating legs worth. I'm eating a leg's worth, but honestly, Ugh. it would be fascinating to know the size difference of the two. Like, I bet you I am, my leg's worth is probably 20% and my back is 80. <laughs> Are we doing this by weight or by mass? But I'm doing by, by height, by length. right? By, 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 by length. length. <laughs> yeah. By length of thing. I have very short legs. Like, you could eat your leg's worth, but maybe not Nick's leg's worth. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't think anyone here can eat my back length in pancakes. It's a lot of pancakes. <laughs> it's a huge amount. God, why do I want to? Why do I want to? Where do we cut off? Like for the back? Where does the back stop? Is it at the shoulder blades? Yeah, I think so. Okay. It's at the top of the shoulders. Top well, of the shoulders? Okay. Wait, like where the neck, it, where the the neck, neck. begins. Yeah, where the neck yeah, begins. It's, which is it's where neck the to like end. the elastic of your boxes. Because the spine goes further than you would anticipate, from what I've seen. Are you guys anticipating spine length, or where are you on that? Well, I'm just thinking, because the ba isn't the back the spine? The entirety of the spine is the back, or is there a difference? Is there a point where the back exists, but the spine doesn't begin? What, yeah, the, the spine is, is, is got, it ends in the base of your skull. It's like yeah, in your but head. It, and it goes all the way down the back, right? Like, if you grab someone's spine... Ends That's the their back. What? Oh wait, the tailbone the, was that connect to the spine? It's the end of the spine, I think. But then, but then, like your your ribs are also your back. Like, really? they're not the same. I don't. I won't. I, yeah, I guess. That's I like mean, saying, I can see. 
like, what's your lap? Could you eat your lap's worth of pancake? <laughs> I don't think so. That seems, that seems like a lot. Well, wait, what is a lap? When, <laughs> when Scorpion pulls your spine out, does it have the ribs on it too, or is it just the spine? I think it's I just, mean, the, it's spine. just the spine. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm spine. thinking about. Like Predator is in my head of like that's where I see the most spines. I feel I think like it, in Predator. Movies. I think it goes from the belt line to the top of your shoulders. Belt line, yeah. top of the shoulder. Yeah, so you I think, can't eat. I'll, next time we record, I'll let you know how far that is. We can measure. We could figure out roughly how many pancakes it would be to eat my back. What, worth of, what unit of measurement do they use in in the UK or in uh, Canada? What do you like meters? Like centimeters. centimeters and so it's useless to Eric and I. Okay. Yeah, I could convert though. Thanks. I appreciate I'm it. I'm used to it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I think that'll work. How many pancakes do you think? Just as a guess, you had to get, like a jelly bean in a jar thing. How many pancakes can make my back? Well, we're just going height. We're not going width. We're right? just, just going just height. height. Um, twenty-eight. No. Twenty-eight. You th that is a tiny. I think you're bad at this game. I think. <laughs> I think your back is 56 pancakes. <laughs> I that that's a little bit closer. I it, for me Gavin it was like you looked at the jar of jelly beans and said 12. Like that's <laughs> what are you talking. That's a good point. That's like a quarter qu a quarter of a meter. That's yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be like 80. I I that's probably even closer. I bet you it's at least in the 70s. But we have to come up with a standardized height for pancakes, I guess. Is becomes the problem. Centimeter so are you saying you have the longest back and face? Undeniably, I have the longest back and face. If somebody, I would be genuinely disappointed but if taller. anyone He's here. Surely got a longer back. I, I pretty, I'm, I'm, I'm a lot of torso too. I have, uh, for my height, I think my legs are a little short. Okay. Well, are we going to have a back off? No, I'm not trying to. I'm just curious. I if, think we should all back off. <laughs> all right, I like can the I, idea of a back off. Can everybody measure your back before the next? Yeah, episode? absolutely. I can measure next my back now. What, what, that, does that need to be done separately? How are you going to measure How your back? How am I going to measure you. my You need back. somebody to help you. <laughs> it's what are you talking about? I can hold the tape measure at my, to my back, and I can grab the other end yeah, of it. I'm at not, my, I don't I'm know not, where a tape measure. I'm is. not trusting that measure. I'm not trusting that measurement. I need Meg to do it. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm not doing it myself. I'm going to have Emily do it. I want to get a yeah, precise measurement. I, mean, I, I measurement. definitely need assistance for this. Yeah, I'm not going to half-ass this. How are you going to measure it? It's fine. <laughs> well, you can't trust that. Me they don't measure themselves at the combine, Gavin. They could if that was an efficient, if that was an appropriate way to measure distance or length. They do it that way. They don't. Somebody helps. 25 inches. That's, that's how long your back is? Yep, just measure my back. All right, I'm going to measure my back. Okay, well, these are no, not, not I, that hard. Super easy of, to do. Super incredibly easy to do. The integrity of these numbers are not as yeah, accurate. That's not, these are not official numbers. These are, yeah. These have to be in, these, independently verified. Absolutely. I'm not going to make my wife measure my back. You're not going to make her. You're going to ask her, and she's going to be happy to do it because she loves you and likes to spend time with you. You think that's how we spend time? It, no. It, have but, you ever done it before? It might be, you might discover that it's something that you guys love to do together. It's true. <laughs> the Twenty-one in Chile tradition. Are you going to trust Gavin with the number that he comes no. back with? No. Twenty-one. What was yours, Eric? Like, really? Are you going to? What was yours? No. Twenty-five. Was it twenty-five? Twenty. Mine was twenty-five. Wait, your 25. back is twenty-five and mine's twenty-one. Short so back. This, baby. See, this this is, they're already they're already this, shaky about the numbers, Jeff. This you got a short, you got a short back. Process. Are you sure that yours is twenty-four? No, 25. I'm sure it's 25. 25. God damn it, I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> Hold on. No. I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna wait. So wait, I'm touching it to like this, the small of my back, like my uh -huh. boxers area. Yep. So and from I'm the ending... elastic to the top of the shoulders, which would be the bottom of your neck, and that would be it. 22 that time. Oh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of confidence in my number. I don't have a lot of confidence in Gavin's. That was weird. He just got an inch taller. Come on. Well, I did it sitting down the second time. Were you sat down when you measured? No, I'm standing. I have a standing desk. Oh. There's gonna be an angle. I don't trust it. Uh, I, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get accurate measurements. Are you guys gonna trust Jeff with whatever he comes back with? Should I not know Jeff's number because I don't want to seem like I'm trying to boost my own, I'm trying to get. Like, oh, I definitely want to know Jeff's number. I do. Well, I should I not know it though? I agree. Well, I think I think said. you can know it. Okay. I think I'm gonna trust you with this, Andrew. I appreciate that. I yeah, I think like I'm I've choosing tried. to trust you. After the whole lotto ball thing, like Jesus I feel like Christ. it's been, oh, you I've know, been it's against been long the wall. enough. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. But I didn't lie about that. that was I don't trust Eric's stupid. numbers at all. I just measured yeah. 22 inches. There's no way. <laughs> Why did yeah. Nick said, do you go to shoulders or to your head? Why would you also measure your neck? Well, your neck is not your, your back. It's not your back. I ended it like my main spine nodule at the top of my Me too. shoulders. Yeah, yep. same. Okay. So as it stands right now, Eric has the longest back. I don't buy it Eric's for a full second. Of shit. <laughs> There's no way. I will say, looking at the Brahma's photos, you do not strike me as the guy with the longest back. <laughs> I agree with you, yet here we are. Well, no, we're not here we are. You measured wrong. Nope. I would say Here's that- what we do. We're measuring in the next... <laughs> since, since Eric doesn't want to get his wife involved, uh, we're measuring at the next office day. We... Look at the Brahma's photo of them standing in front of the logo. Yeah, there's uh -huh. no you guys way. seem like you have essentially identical length and legs, mm -hmm. but Jeff seems like he's got a significantly larger back than you. What and was yet, Nick's? and yet, here we are. With an incorrect measurement, I agree. <laughs> Nick hasn't measured. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't trust Eric to measure anything. Anything? I couldn't measure anything. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. You're way off. You're off by like 10%. <laughs> no, I'm right. We'll find out next office day. That's good. We need to wrap this episode up anyway. And then are we doing Andrew's back next time as well? Yeah. I will have numbers next time we record for sure. I, I, mean, I, mean, I might need to get that, like, I might need to get a specialty measure tape. Me wow. I forgot the word. <laughs> I was going to say measure. And then was, did that seem dumb? We're going to need, it's going to be long. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to outback all of you and I'm not worried about it. It's a definite going to happen. Okay. I can't wait to find out. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> what a odd, I did not expect we'd end up in a back off, but I like it. Where, where did this start? That Why did we get to I the back off? I don't know. You were asking well, me we were about how many about pancakes I can eat. Eating our back in pancakes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what happens That's when you've been in the lab. Things go this way. <laughs> well, it's, Listen, lab is a very organized place. I'm going to take it on faith that Andrew probably does, in fact, have the longest back. But I'll be damned if the longest back is Eric. There's no way. Oh, I don't think I have the longest back. I just 25. Easy. <laughs> you, you're an idiot. <laughs> Ludicrous. <laughs> Ludicrous. <laughs> No, it's really <laughs> absolutely <laughs> ludicrous. <laughs> He's all back. I'm going to bet he never went and got a tape measure and he just Googled average back length. <laughs> <laughs> you think Eric doesn't have an average back length? You think he's or, below or he the looked average? in the mirror and eyeballed it. You think I eyeballed it? I don't think you, you got four more inches than your back. <laughs> I don't think you're that bad at... Oh, hang on. Jack's in the chat. Okay. <laughs> Looks like the average is about 19.7. Wow, I'm long I'm way longer than the average. That's awesome. <laughs> There's no way. I got to it's it's in the chat already. Okay, those are the lines. I appreciate that. That's a very clear What? That's so I almost feel like that's a little high on it the could lower be, end. It seems like it could be a little high on the lower end. I probably would pick low. I probably would go a little I'd, lower. I'd go a little bit yeah. lower than that. Yeah. That's just what I found on the internet for measuring your back. That's fair. Oh, I just, I don't. And maybe we got like a Lord of the Rings thing going on here. Like maybe, maybe somebody's a little closer than the other, but you can't, you look at that photo and you say that, that Eric has a larger back than Jeff. It's no way. What unit is your, is your measurer, Eric? Centimeters. 20. It's fucking it inches. Of course it's inches. What kind of question? <laughs> <laughs> That broke Gavin once again. <laughs> <laughs> it, really did. it wasn't even about a dick this time. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, we need to wrap up. Let's, let's right. end this thing. Is there anything we need to plug or anything before we go? Uh, come to RTX no. July 7th through 9th. Uh, RTXAustin.com. Get your tickets and see the uh, face museum. Good oh, stuff. hey, speaking of which, Andrew, I know you don't want to send your, uh, your icing uh, down, mm -hmm. but do you have any like ba half-made baskets or anything you could send our way for the museum? Not that I think would make it. <laughs> <In the trip. laughs> I still have the basket, but I, it would it will not last. It, I don't do think you, I could walk out the house with the basket. Do you still have the sushi container by any chance? I do not. I didn't. Damn. It didn't occur to me to save the sushi container. Do you have the candle? Sadly. Do you have the fire extinguisher bag? 
30 inch back from this Jack, is, apparently. You can't listen to Jack. Jack isn't involved in this. We just have to get through this. We have Ridiculous. to end this thing. We can't involve Jack in this. Kind of kind of fucking world is he living in? Okay, Jeff, can you plug the socials and we can go? Hey, this is Jeff plugging the socials and then we can go. If you like face, check us out on social medias. We got them. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, Major League fan Jack here with a look at next week's episode of Face. Nick got away with it. Old people look better now. Gavin has another life hack. Jeff heads to Savannah. Gavin gets a message. And once again, Andrew does not eat the pencil. All that and more on next week's episode of Face.